In this video I'll show you how to replace the grill in a Toyota Tacoma. There are several years that are similar to this 2003 Tacoma. You have to remove the corner light to remove the grill. Take the screw out of the corner light tab. Gently lift the tab while pulling the corner light forward. There are seven small clips holding the grill to the core support. This is what they look like. Use a long, thin object to trigger the release on each of the small grill clips. There are also two large clips holding the grill to the headlight assembly. This is what they look like. They're hidden in the lower corners of the grill behind the painted metal trim pieces called grill fillers. Sometimes just pulling on the corners is enough to release the large clips. If not, you have to reach behind the headlight assemblies to release the clips. While pulling forward slightly on the lower corner of the grill with one hand, reach behind the corner of the grill and press each side of the large clip out from the center. I couldn't get a camera into that area, so here's a shot from outside the truck. Repeat that process on the other side and the grill should be detached from the truck now. Remove the small clips from the core support by gently squeezing while rotating the clip 90 degrees. The clips are easy to damage, so plan a little extra time to deal with broken clips. If you couldn't get the grill fillers out, it's best to remove them and make adjustments before reinstalling the grill. Insert the small grill clips into the grill. Insert the large grill clips in the grill. Set the grill in place. If you had to remove the fillers, don't install them until the end. Press on the lower corners of the grill until the large clips lock into the headlight assembly. The large clips can be a little difficult to work with, so watch the tips and tricks at the end if you have problems. Align the small clips and finish pressing the grill into place. To reinstall the corner light, align the three tabs and push the corner light into place while gently lifting the top tab. Align the holes in the corner light tab, the grill, and the headlight and install the screw. If you remove the fillers, reinstall them. The corner light tab that the screw goes through can become very brittle with age, so be very gentle with it. If you have difficulty removing the grill fillers, spray the tabs on the grill filler with silicone spray and work the filler around until it releases. Using a small Allen wrench and a pair of vice grips will make it easier to get a grip on the grill filler. You can reach the back of the filler from behind the grill, so you might be able to use a tool to push the filler or release the tabs. To make installation easier, use silicone spray or silicone grease on the filler tabs and slots. The metal tabs have to go between the plastic tabs. Make sure you don't put the bottom metal tabs below the bottom plastic tabs. Test the grill filler fit while the grill is out of the truck. If the filler is too tight or too loose, bend the metal tabs as needed. If the filler is too loose, it can fall out going down the road. The clips are the most difficult part of this installation. They break easy and it can be difficult to quickly find good replacements. Prices can vary, so call all of the dealerships in your area. OEM means Original Equipment Manufacturer. In general, that means the part is made by one of the same companies that makes the part for Toyota, so it should be the exact same part as one from the dealer. The imitation stuff isn't made to high enough standards, so if you're searching the web for clips, 
use OEM and the part number in your search. Try the part number with and without the dash in it. Also check the estimated arrival date closely. Most of the imitation stuff comes from overseas and takes a month to get to the U.S. If you buy the OEM small clips from the dealer, they're about $1.20 and up for one, and they usually have them in stock. If you buy clips from somewhere other than the dealer, the non-OEM ones can be as cheap as $2 for 20 of them, but there's a good chance they won't work. I took a chance and ordered some small clips on eBay that didn't say OEM. They were too small and wouldn't work. If you only need a few small clips, put the clips you have in the bottom. You can slip the new clips in the top areas later. The large clips from the dealer are about $3.65 and up for each one, but they don't always have them in stock. The ones I purchased on eBay were OEM for $2.47 each, including the shipping, and they worked fine. If you can't get the jaws to release, you can remove the grill filler and push this tab to release the front of the clip instead. Spray the back of the large clips with silicone spray to allow the jaws to engage and release easier. Use your hand behind the headlight assembly to provide back pressure. While you have the grill out, look around for anything else you might want to do, like washing the 5 million dragonfly eyeballs out of your AC condenser and radiator. If you don't have time or money to buy new clips, you can use UV resistant cable ties for either type of clip. To use cable ties instead of the large clips, Feed a cable tie through the grill where the long neck of the large clip goes. Then feed the tie through one of the two slots in the headlight bracket where the jaws of the large clip normally engages. Cut the head off of another cable tie and slip it onto the back of the cable tie. Only engage a few clicks for now. To use cable ties instead of the small clips, there are three different techniques you'll need to use. Some of the small clip points have a hole you can see through. For these, feed the cable tie through the grill, through the core support, and then back through the head of the cable tie and through the hole in the grill. For now, only put the tip of the head through the cable tie far enough to hear a few clicks. Some of the small clip points don't have a hole you can see through. For these, feed the cable tie through the grill, through the core support, and then route the tie over the side of the grill and through the head of the tie. Only engage a few clicks. As an alternative, you can drill a hole in the grill to make a nicer looking installation. For these, feed the cable tie through the grill, through the core support, through the hole you drilled, and then through the head of the cable tie. Only engage a few clicks. For the two small clips in the lower corners, you probably won't be able to loop the tie back to the head of the cable tie. Cut a one inch long piece of hose or plastic pipe. The pipe needs to be big enough so it won't slip through the square hole in the core support. Feed a cable tie through the grill and through the core support. Put the pipe, a large fender washer, and the head of another cable tie over the end of the cable tie. The fender washer needs to have a hole large enough for the cable tie to go through, but small enough that the head of the second cable tie can't go through. Only engage a few clicks for now. Tighten all of the cable ties, starting with the ties at the bottom. Clip the excess length off of the cable ties. Sharing videos on social media sites and forums helps YouTubers more than anything else. 
so please share this video, like it, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. And feel free to ask questions and make comments.